because when I was in hospital, I got out, but others didn't. I did feel a little lucky because I was one of the earlier people in the just before the peak of the second wave. And had I have gone to hospital a week later, I would have had to wait in A&E for two days to get a, a bed in the ward. So it was kind of a silver lining to the very dark cloud. In December 2020, just before Christmas, I self-isolated for I was going to do the required 10 days and after one week my lung capacity, my oxygen levels with a little finger monitor uh, oximeter uh, went through the floor, an ambulance was called and the next thing I was in intensive care for a week and then a further week. I was in hospital 15 days. Um, and then came out of hospital for a week and then went back into hospital because uh, it wasn't getting any better and it turned out I had lung clots as a result of COVID pneumonia in both lungs. And um, the, it was a, a big surprise to catch the disease and catch it badly with the COVID pneumonia where um, up until I actually got the disease I was aware it was real, but it sort of seemed to be something that happened to other people. And it suddenly became very real for me because I was on um, oxygen masks for a week and antibiotics and steroids, everything that they seemed to have at hand they gave to me. And luckily I responded in a, a hospital in London, and um, but many didn't make it. Before I became ill, I used to travel in and out to work in central London on the tube and some people wouldn't wear masks or some people wore masks over their mouths but not their noses. And I always, that irritated me quite a lot because the, the mask both prevents you giving the disease to someone but it also helps you not inhale the disease. So when I saw debates on television and groups of radicals organizing marches and so on, debating whether COVID was a real thing or not, or, or worth all of the effort of lockdown and the economy damage and so on, I could see the point in the uh, suspicion, but the fact of the matter is, it is a very real disease and it very nearly killed me and it has killed many, many thousands of people. And in the end, it will have killed millions and millions of people.